hindi ba naging red flag sa inyo bakit ang daming nag uh, gustong mag-aral sa sa Tugigarao? Bakit ano bang gandang kurso na nandoon na parang napaka-attractive? Every month we have the monthly um, visa issuances report. So in that um, specific report, nakalagay po yung kung ilan ho yung issuances. Now we don't have yun nga lang, in detailed information as to which schools they are enrolled in. Isinagawa ang unang pagdinig ng House Committee on Justice kaugnay ng pagtaas ng bilang ng Chinese students sa probinsya ng Cagayan. Dumalo ang mga ahensya ng pamahalaang kabilang sa Interagency Committee on Foreign Students, gaya ng Commission on Higher Education, Bureau of Immigration, National Bureau of Investigation, National Intelligence Coordinating Agency, Department of Foreign Affairs at Department of Education. Sa hiring, kwenesyon ng ilang kongresista kung bakit tila hindi na bahala ang mga ahensya ng pamahalaan sa biglang pagtaas ng bilang ng Chinese students sa lawigan ng Cagayan. Sa ulat ng Bureau of Immigration, tumaas ang bilang ng mga foreign national kabilang na ang mga Chinese dahil sa muling pagbukas ng bansa kasunod ng COVID-19 pandemic. Gayun din, bunga ng pagsusulong sa Pilipinas bilang isang education hub sa rehiyon at maging ang kasunduan ng Pilipinas at China sa ilalim ng Duterte administration. Based on our, on our uh, analysis of the situation, number one, the Philippine government has been promoting the country as a regional and global education hub. And uh, the Commission on Higher Education study in the Philippines campaign has greatly helped boost the number of foreign students in the country. May ilang paraan upang makapasok ang foreign students sa Pilipinas sa pamagitan ng student visa o kaya naman ay tourist visa na i-convert sa student visa. Sa ulat naman ng CHED, Indian nationals ang may pinakamataas na bilang ng foreign students sa bansa kasunod ang Chinese mula 2022 hanggang 2024. Noong 2023, 5,921 ang Chinese students sa bansa at 5,334 naman ngayong taon. Nasa Metro Manila ang bulto ng Chinese students. Tinanong din ng CHED kung bakit maraming Chinese students sa Cagayan. If we will base it on our data, yung usual, uh, the, the general uh, categories pa rin po ang ground nila for pursuing international, uh, well, international study here in the Philippines, which is the English as a medium of instruction, quality institutions. Um, uh, on the part of uh, Region 2, SPUP is one of our autonomous and deregulated institutions, Madam Chair. Uh, and of course, affordability po siguro. Gayunman, tiniyak naman ng DFA na bunso ng mga concerns sa seguridad sa pagdagsa ng foreign students sa bansa, hihigpitan pa nila ang regulasyon sa pagkakaloob ng student visa. You did find that uh, a, a large influx of Chinese students will, be a not, will not be a security risk? In fact, our uh, office and our undersecretary will be conducting an interagency committee meeting on visa concerns tomorrow precisely to address these issues with a view to harmonizing the policies or or maybe even revise the policies based on the security concerns that have been raised in the recent months so we are taking very good notes sir don't don't Thank worry you. and then we, we seek to strengthen our visa policies and make it even stricter if need be which is obviously needed Samantala, itinanggi naman ng St. Paul University, Philippines, ang napaulat na may mahigit 4,000 Chinese students na naka-enroll sa kanila. Maging ang umano'y 1.2 million pesos na halaga ng tuwesyon na sinisingil para sa degree kada foreign student, pinabulaanan din ng universidad. So for the students to complete their graduate school program, they are enrolled in at least 10 trimesters. So... If we put together that 1,000 US dollars times 10 per trimester times 10 trimesters, that's only 10,000 US dollars. So it does not reach 1.2 million pesos. Ayon naman sa Bureau of Immigration, lahat ng Chinese students na naka-enroll sa St. Paul University noong 2023 pumasok sa bansa gamit ang tourist visa at nagpa-convert lang sila sa student visa. All foreign students opted for mode 2. So they came in uh, using 9A tourist visa and converted to 9F. And uh, based on our data for St. Paul's University for 2023, 1,464 only applied for conversion.
and 52 applied for extension. We have no data showing of the 4,600 students. Rosa Licoz, UNTV News and Rescue. Diyos ang aming sandigan, serbisyo publiko ang aming pinahahalagahan.